Hello, Katja here. Today I will uh, start to do a series about molds and paper clay. Uh, this is my uh, first one and uh, because I have uh, get, uh, got a request from uh, some of your followers to know more about paper clay. I use paper clays and molds a lot. Uh, there are different brands of paper clay uh, and different quality and um, also different prices. Uh, you have Prima, you have um, Mota Stewart uh, and this one the Shape. Darwai and this one is the cheapest one. I bought it in Sweden about two euro uh, in uh, Tiger. Uh, there are also many different kinds of molds. Uh, this one, all of the pink ones I have bought from uh, China. Uh, not expensive one, about two or three euro each. Uh, wow embossing. And this one is from Mod Podge, Marta Stewart. And there also you can use molds from to silicon molds uh, to bakery, to cakes. Okay, we have different brands. I forget to show you the Prima. And there are many and many details on them. There are many different brands. Uh, some of them are more soft. I really enjoy when they are soft and easy to pick out. Um, Mota Stewart's a little bit more heavy one and Prima's uh, are more. And, but there are many of them here. I will uh, simply show you some of them. Uh, but molds, they make the decoration and the quality is different. Uh, and my tip to you when you have paper clay is simply to try which one you like. Uh, I like many of the paper clays. Some of them are soft, uh, some are more heavy to work with and uh, the result is also can be different. More uh, of uh, some clays uh, give more details, uh, and some uh, and some of them are more light and doesn't uh, weigh anything, uh, but perhaps uh, not so detailed. I will start with this uh, shape. Um, I will uh, give you. I have bought this. Uh, this is from uh, Keeper's Hobby, but I bought it from 13 Arts. Uh, and I will pick, uh, we will do a card today. Uh, and like I said, this is the first video in my series about molds. If I do this one, um, and I have my paper clay. And uh, you re it says in e package twenty four uh, hours of drying time. Yes, you can do. But I also had some workshops, and uh, we'd make with the paper clay on the workshops. Uh, so if you have a heating gun, it also works. I will leave it for dry twenty four hours. And this one is a soft one. Uh, sometimes, uh, perhaps you need to do, I have recently made uh, from this butterfly uh, some ATC cards and I did about 15. Uh, then I use coconut oil uh, and it depends about the clay. But coconut oil and a bad brush. Yo, Hila. Anyway, I like the coconut oil. It's like preparing, and you know, you only need a little, little bit. 
and now I will fill this one. I simply take my clay and this one it's a really uh, uh, wet one and I get a little bit um, white on my hands. I don't use gloves. Use if you want to. Uh, I do it soft in my hands. I work the clay uh, in the molds. Oh, this one was really, really wet. Uh, so fresh. And I pick it and sometimes I need uh, I need a, a spatula and spatel. Um, but and I I really enjoy this uh, work. I leave it to a little bit, uh, and uh, these I will leave for drying uh, 24 hours. But you will not notice because it will come in the same video. Um, but this clay was really, really wet. You never know how they are before you open them, even if they use the same brand, because it depends how long they have been and if they had come a little bit air in it. Done? I think I will try one other clay also so you can uh, see the different we will show then. I will speed up the video a little bit. Try this uh, cheapest one. Uh, I bought it in a store. Tiger in Sweden. I don't know if you have this one. Anyway, it was so cheap I need to try it. Sometimes when yeah, they are easy to work with, that can be a, also a problem because they don't want to go in. Uh, and this one perhaps doesn't give so much details. Okay, should I do that one too? Hmm, why not? Um, oh. See, it will not, uh, when it's too light, it will not stick. Then these uh, models uh, can be more easy uh, when they are not so heavy. That's my tip. So we do one like here. And um, see it's very a little bit difficult to pull it in and to give the details. But if you don't have so detailed ones. Um, but you see it doesn't uh, want really to stay when it's not so heavy. But it works and for a beginner why not? We do it again. I pull, I pull. I have that once uh, who I think, uh, what, what I think I need for my card. Uh, they have dry a little bit. Um, I pick them when they go for drying. I pick them up from the form and you see when it's so so wet it can be a little bit difficult to pull them out and uh, when they are this brand and they are more soft it can be more easy to pull them out so I pull them out uh, 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 uh. And when they are wet, they want to stay. You see, 
when they are too wet more easy to work with but also it will stick more on the details um, so didn't work too a little bit too wet this one today uh, so to not uh, do the same mistake here I will uh, dry it up a little, little bit so it will be more easy uh, and I was not so happy about the flowers but uh, me I don't mind because uh, I will have flowers uh, around the, uh, this one so it will work anyway but you see it stick there so not too fresh uh, paper clay is not to recommend a little bit more dry it can be but you never know last time I used it it worked perfectly Okay, I will uh, leave this to dry uh, and uh, we'll do a card from these molds. Now it has been dried over the night and uh, this was the uh, heart frame that I did. Um, the clay was so wet and I was work uh, with it much later and get more dry more better this is another one in the same clay a uh, little bit of some mistakes sometimes but I don't care uh, this was a uh, very cheap and sometimes they can be a little bit different in the color this one uh, my sheep paper clay get, was getting more white. When it have get dried, you can always see that it uh, perhaps leave small pieces left. Uh, you can use your pa palette knife to easy, like use a scrape. Oh, it's broken. I don't mind, uh, I will glue it. Sometimes you need to be careful. Many mistakes in this uh, video. Uh, the other one, if you don't need a uh, nail uh, for the nails, and I easy go around the decoration if there are something small piece and picking up. In this video, uh, in this uh, card making, I will use only a plain white cardstock and um, some flowers, my embellishment, a little bit color and some waxes. So I hope you will uh, finish the video with me. Okay. <laughs>